Police have released the identities of two more victims of the Lahaina disaster, 60-year-old Marilu Diaz of Lahaina and 78-year-old June Anbe, also of Lahaina. Uh, it comes as the number of confirmed fatalities in the Lahaina firestorm has changed. That's right. It's actually dropped from 115 lives lost to 97. Our Chelsea Davis is live in Lahaina to explain. Chelsea. Yeah, Mark Ash, it's a painstaking task and county and federal agencies have been working seven days a week to make sure they are as accurate as they can be. And they want to remind the public that even this number that we are, we have right now, the 97 lives lost, that could still change. My police chief, John Pelletier, and medical examiner, Dr. Jeremy Stupanagel, and Dr. John Bird, who is with the Department of Defense, POW, and MIA accounting agency, says it's not unusual usual to have a revised death toll in a mass disaster like this. They say many of the remains are fragmented and are after careful examination, they have learned that some were duplicates. Say we have someone who gets a DNA profile and we get a DNA profile for an adult man. And then we have anthropology working and we find remains of an adult man that may be counted initially as two people. But as we find out that the DNA profile matches the bones we have, it consolidates to one. So we've had a lot of consolidation of the cases in that kind of, kind of situation. Of the 97 fatalities, authorities said 74 people have been officially identified. And meanwhile, police said the number of unaccounted for stands at 31. Each of those people have missing persons reports filed with the Maui Police Department. Now, Chief Pelletier says that it is a good chance that all the unaccounted for may be identified. And he said that is extremely rare in mass disasters such as this one. You hear more from them coming up later tonight at 5 o'clock. Reporting live in Lahaina, I'm Chelsea Davis for Hawaii News Now. Thank you, Chelsea.